What's up YouTube, coming at you guys back with another video. Uh, today we're going to do a quick install or update the factory Garmin map on the navigation system. So uh, shout out to the guys on the 10th gen forms. Uh, that's what, pretty much where I got this information from. So I'll be sure to drop that link uh, in the description as well uh, to the form link. Uh, if this is your first time on the channel guys, uh, definitely hit that subscribe button, especially if you're into CTR content or just general car content um, as well. And if you like the video, uh, definitely hit that like button as well. Um, with that all being said, uh, let's go ahead and hop in the car and I'll walk you guys through how to update the factory navigation. All right guys, now that we're in the car, uh, you're gonna wanna hit the link. Uh, I'll put the link either in the video or I put it in the description. So uh, once you get to that link, you will then navigate to click on 2019 as the option that you will like to click on. And then from that point, you'll click on Civic. And then once you get to there, it will bring you up to a different page. I'll go ahead and show that on the screen now. Okay guys, so we're on the Honda Garmin page. And then what you're gonna wanna do is click on 2019. Like I said, click on Civic. Okay, and then once that loads up, you will see yourself on this page, which gives you uh, some three-step instructions on what to do. And the first thing you're gonna do is you wanna get a 16 gigabyte, or eight to 16 gigabyte uh, flash drive. This is the one I'm using here. And you're gonna wanna plug that into your car with the car being turned off. So I will do that first step, and we'll see, we'll, we'll walk you through that step, guys. Yeah, so for me with the on or at least for the civics you're able to just plug it into your whatever usb slot is most convenient for you uh, the key thing here is just making sure that the car is turned off uh, as you place the usb in and then you're going to want to turn the car onto its on position i'll go ahead and do that and walk you through the next steps okay guys so once you are on your navigation screen and you have your usb uh, plugged in that was plugged in before you turn the car on you're going to go into your navigation screen you're going to go to settings then from settings click on settings and then from settings we're going to go to device click on device and then once you get to device we're going to click on update map okay Hey guys, so once you press your USB in, you're gonna hit update map. And then once you do that, once it finishes updating, you're gonna to wanna to leave your USB in for at least one minute before you unplug the USB drive from the USB port. Hey guys, so the next step is you're gonna plug your USB back into your computer. And then once you do that, you're gonna follow the instructions to download an app called Garmin Express. Pretty self-explanatory on how to uh, finish that download. So once that's done downloading, you're gonna click on your USB device. I just named mine Type R Maps. And you're gonna make sure that when you check for updates, that you have the map that you wanted to select. So I selected the 2019 Civic uh, update. So my uh, map has now been updated. This took about 25 minutes or so for it to complete the update uh, onto my USB drive. So now that I have the newest maps updated on my USB drive, I'll plug that back into the car and we'll go ahead and get the, the uh, navigation uh, up to date. Okay, so we have our USB plugged in and we're going to turn the car up to its on position. So hit the Push start twice. Wait for everything to initiate. Okay. All right, we're gonna go to settings. Go to device, update map. So let's go ahead and hit yes, that we wish to continue and wait for it to update. So uh, I'll go ahead and let this update 
and when it's complete i'll give you guys a recap on exactly how long this took to to update um, updating the usb as i mentioned previously took about 20 maybe 25 minutes so uh we'll see how long this takes and like i said i'll be back in a, in a hopefully a couple minutes all right guys so this update and now it says update successful so awesome we updated my maps I went from my original maps for 2017 maps, even though my car was purchased in July of 2018. Uh, but now, you know, we've upgraded to the, the 2019 maps. So the update itself uh, took about maybe 20 to 25 minutes again. Um, about the same it took to get the maps on the USB, the same amount of time to um, get the, the maps from the USB onto the head unit. So uh, let me just make sure that we verify that we have the correct map. So give me one moment. There you guys, and as you can see, like I said, I start my car originally had the 2017 maps installed. And you can see that after updating uh, with the via USB, uh, I now have the 2019 uh, maps updated. So uh, once again, uh, shout out to the guys uh, we created the thread on the 10th generation Civic Forms. I will put a link to that in the description. Um, did have some issues at first, but I was able to get everything ironed out. And it was pretty simple to uh, download the, the Garmin installer and get everything updated, like I said, via USB, and then plug that in and have it updated to your map. All right guys, so that's gonna do it for this video. Uh, hopefully you were able to follow along and getting the factory Garmin maps updated. I know a lot of people probably don't even use those maps, but for those who like the convenience, uh, I know people use Waze or use the Google Maps, but if you like to just have, you know, have different options and have that factory Garmin updated as well, uh, hopefully you are able to follow along and it wasn't too, uh, too much of an issue so if you guys have any questions feel free to drop a comment below uh, if you like the video definitely hit that like button and if you guys like to see additional ctr content if you like the or if you like the content on my channel already uh, definitely hit that subscribe button uh, with that that's going to be an end for this video i'm out guys